There's something about the vast and wide open personality of Montana. It's the antithesis of claustrophobia. I feel free, no agenda, floating in the wind of anticipation. So much so that I can fully trust my intuition to guide me to the next destination. Maybe that's why I've had a love affair with this state for so many years. For five weeks, I've been traveling the Lewis and Clark Trail. This week, I traveled from Cloberston, Montana to Fort Peck Dam site, about 102 miles. The dam construction started in 1933 as part of the New Deal, and at its peak, employed over 10,000 workers. The spillway is famous for being featured on the first cover of Life magazine in 1936. So, do you know who that photographer was? Lewis and Clark passed this way rapidly. They had an upriver wind and could deploy their sails. This allowed them to cover over 20 miles a day, and they actually thought they'd make it to the Pacific in less than two months. The absence of mechanized sound opens a space to be filled with my own thoughts. There's a balance and beauty in those moments. It's the feeling of undiscovered possibilities. I'm free to explore random associations and make connections. When I'm out photographing, I have a sense there's something I have to say or something to show. There's a perfect blend of physical and non-physical. Here where the endless power of the universe ghosts into everything, they come together in a different way. I give myself permission and the freedom to accept what is and what's going to be. The experience is going to open me up and give me a whole new layer of insight. I'm just waiting for it. That's Montana. Big and open with endless possibilities. When I'm out photographing, I'm looking for uncommon subject matter or a unique feature to build my picture around. On the 4th of July, a massive storm front was pushing into the Fort Peck area. I was on my motorcycle chasing the leading edge of the wall clouds, and a hard wind was being pushed in front of it. And then all of a sudden, it reversed, and the air was being sucked up into the storm. The wind shift was so violent and abrupt, I knew I had to get out of there and get back to safety. When I started tracing the Lewis and Clark Trail, I was thinking I would do this daily documentation of my travels, but I realized there's just a lot of downtime in between and it's not that interesting. I feel like I'm finally getting my head wrapped around what it is I want to do. And so I'm going to destinations. I'm picking places along the way and spending three, four, up to six days in a place. And I'll do these videos about my experiences in those areas that I stay. Uh, I find it much more satisfying and much more visually rich. I mean, ultimately, this whole adventure I'm on is about exploration and discovery. Part of it is purely photographic. Not video, not sound, not words, just making images. And so what follows are the pictures that I liked the best from my stay at Fort Peck. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, give me your comments. The feedback is, is so helpful for me. I hope you're all doing well and uh, thank you for following me on my journey.